All right, this is how to debloat Windows 11. With Win11 debloat, fast and easy, you're gonna wanna search for Win11 debloat and find the GitHub page by Raffire. I stick with this one because it's gotten the most community trust for actually working without breaking anything. There are knockoffs with similar names, but Raffire's version has the track record. You'll know you're in the right place when the URL shows Raffire slash Win11 debloat. The download process is pretty standard GitHub stuff. Hit that green code button and grab the zip file. Once it lands in your downloads, extract it wherever you want. Nothing fancy needed here. Now, look for run.bat and right-click it and run it as administrator though. Windows won't let it remove system apps or mess with settings otherwise. Just click run anyway when it asks for permission. What I like about this tool is how it gives you different levels of aggression. The default mode hits what most people actually want removed without going overboard. There's also a custom mode where you can pick and choose everything individually, which honestly gets tedious unless you really know what you're doing. Then there's an app-only mode that just cleans up your start menu without touching system settings. For your first run, that default option makes the most sense. Just type one and let it do its thing. You'll watch it yank out Xbox, Teams, Cortana, and all those random games Microsoft thinks you want. More importantly, it shuts down the telemetry stuff that's constantly phoning home with your data. The registry tweaks it applies actually make a noticeable difference in how snappy everything feels. The whole the whole process scrolls by pretty quickly, with status updates for each thing it removes or changes. Takes maybe 5 minutes depending on how much junk came with your install. When it wraps up, you get a summary of everything that happened. Definitely restart after this, because some changes won't stick until you do. The difference after reboot is honestly pretty satisfying. If you ever want to get more surgical about what gets removed, you can always run it again with that custom mode.